Hello everyone, this is uh, Civil Rights Leader Dr. Harris here in Fresno, California. Uh, we're here at the courthouse as you see that's standing behind me. Uh, we went to court this morning again for the third time. Uh, Mr. Brian, uh, Mr. Bully Brian did not show up again uh, to face uh, what he has did to our little uh, young baby. Um, so they have pushed this to December 6th another court hearing December 6th here at the courthouse at 8 30 uh, and we, it's just a game that they play in the court system and so uh, we will come back we want to thank all the supporters from across the world uh, we want to thank uh, uh, Women International League of Freedom and Freedom and Peace who came out to court watch uh, the mother was here today we also have um, some more supporters that's here today. Um, so we're gonna keep the pressure on. Uh, we're gonna keep standing here in Mississippi Fresno. Uh, we're not going to uh, bow down. Uh, we're gonna seek justice, we're seek justice. And we wanna make sure that this is a president's being set out, not just for Fresno, but anybody across the world that has to experience their child being assaulted by oppressible here. Uh, it was wrong. Uh, many people don't know that the same principal had threw this young man to the ground, I believe May 27, and put his knee in his back like George Floyd for about eight minutes. Uh, I believe when June 7th is when he struck uh, the young man. Uh, uh, uh. And so it's, it's just an unfortunate situation. But I think as black people, we have to understand that for 400 years, we've been dealing with this silliness, this mess, injustice, lynchings, and murder, uh, going into the court courtrooms, uh, not still receiving justice, but we're gonna keep the pressure on. But, it's, but I just wanna thank everyone from across the country, Colorado, New York, everywhere, LA, Oakland, Sacramento, for standing with us. I also wanna thank the, the Fresno Brown Barrettes for their support coming out to the Justice Corner protesting with us and standing with us as a community. Um, and, and the thing I want to leave, the, 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 the conversation I want to leave with everybody today is that whatever you do, just stand. Just stand. Just stand for our children. Just stand for our women. Just stand for our black and brown community. And just stand for any color that needs justice. And so, you know, like I said, we're gonna keep keep moving strong. We're standing strong. Uh, there's no fear in our bones uh, because we know that we're doing what's right. The ancestors has given us permission to come here today. The last three times, the ancestors gave us permission to come here. And we're gonna keep coming here until we see Mr. Bully Brian get his credentials stripped. And once it gets stripped, then we'll have a big party. And that's what, that's what it is. It is what it is. And I just want to say hotep to everybody. Thank y'all again. Uh, we'll keep you guys informed. We did a radio show last night. We'll be doing another radio show this evening to, to, to update everyone that is what has taken place. And uh, so we can gather more support uh, uh, for this family. There's other issues in Fresno that we're dealing with as well. The young man who got ran over in front of Hoover High School. That's another issue that we're dealing with. So it's just a lot of issues, but I want to say this. Family, we got to rebuild our village. We got to rebuild our village and hold the village accountable and hold the system accountable. Because there's no way that Bully Brian, the principal, should, should have been allowed to go and apply at another school, Tranquility Unified. There was no way that he should have been able to uh, go and apply for another job after he had assaulted our young brother, the 10 year old, and now he's on administrative leave with pay. So now he gets paid for assaulting a young black 10 year old. So that's that's not right. So we see that our system is broke. Uh, we're gonna hold everybody accountable. We're not just for the Unified the County Board of Education, everyone, because we pay taxes for you to govern our children. We pay taxes for you for you to make sure that, that our children are safe in a safe place. And that hasn't happened here. It hasn't happened. The video don't lie. Candy camera don't lie. 
And everybody can see what he did in that camera when he struck our young baby and then went toward him after that. So this is a man full of rage. This is a man uh, uh, may not don't like black people. That's what I'm really looking at it right now. He has problems with black people. And so uh, we're going to make sure, you know, the old saying is, get one bad apple out before it ruins the other. So we're going after this one apple, Bully Brian, to make sure that he don't ever, 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 ever step on a school system nowhere in the state of California. And I hope nowhere in the world. And so, Hotep, again, proud to the people. We love y'all. Thanks. Keep us in your prayers in Fresno. You want to say, well, tell them when the next date? That's right. December 6th is the next court date. December 6th, right here. December 6th. Um, 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. Department right 12. Here, Department 12 in the basement. So, hey, we'll be calling on y'all. If y'all need us from Fresno, hey, we there with y'all because we're family. And this is just how we're going to do it. We all connected. We all came from Africa on them boats. We were connected then, and we're going to stay connected today because we are our brothers and our sisters. Thank y'all.